Vipi wase ndeks hapa box to box FPL show game week 18. Najua tuli hata 17. Mazi it was a bit hectic. It was my birthday so you know I had to go and celebrate a bit but uh, here we are. We are back. Obviously the show is brought to you by Uber Eats. Kama kawaida wase si mnajua tuko na community pale WhatsApp na group ya FPL. So guys join there. Uh, before deadline we'll be doing something special. Deadline is tonight. So ita kwa episode ya teke teke. Hakuna kuchaza mob. Just going through everything so I can get the episode out as quickly as possible. And of course, the exciting news of the week has been that we were nominated as one of the top content creators in the category of sports in Africa. We're just one of three people. We're going up against um, some guys from ASA and Nigeria. Um, kudos to them as well for doing the most for sports but we want to win guys so we would like you guys to just go out there and vote i will put the link in the description vote for us deadline is the 23rd so we need all the support we can get guys like please 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 mrs sahau um yeah so i'm just gonna get straight into it obviously uh game week 17 to lewai 65 points um Dubravka, Saliba, Pedro Poro, I were getting clean sheets and a lot of things in defense. So Saliba clean sheet, Pedro Poro assist and clean sheet, Dubravka Pia uh, clean sheet and bonus. Saka, Ali Blank, three. Salah, our captain, blanked six points. Uh, Cole Palmer really came through, bonus point, assist, uh, bonus points. He got an assist and a goal. And then uh, Watkins up front and Julian Alvarez. Obviously, we had Solanke in, but what happened was that Solanke um, was playing in that game, Luton versus Bournemouth, where the Luton captain who it's good to hear he's out of hospital had a cardiac arrest so the game was abandoned so Ime Pushiwa now your game will be replayed from the beginning so Solanke had given us 9 points so points they were swiped so that's why you see the Kadash over there but uh, Gordon came in for us because he was on the bench and he had got an assist in their 3-0 win I believe it was um, and he comes straight in and gives us 6 points so we would have gotten 68 we get 65 which is not bad which is not bad because if you look at the leagues Tumepanda, tunanza kupanda panda. Box to box, FPL show, tumepanda 510, almost 500 places. Um, actually, I've lied, uh, 200 places. And then uh, in the Good Company League, we have gone from 2,300 to 1,600. And in Kenya, we've gone up about 9,000 places. And in the game week, about 400,000 places. And the Super Sport League, up to 99,350. Tuko tu but green arrows everywhere which is what is important moving on to the next thing is uh these are three players that i want to talk about these are fpl differentials for game week 18 obviously man city are playing in the club world cup so the man city players are not going to be there there's three players i want us to talk about um First one being Leon Bailey, who at 5.6 million came off the bench last week against Brentford. Akapata assist, at 25 minutes, akawai assist, but alipata pia yellow card, so uh, he only gave three points. But Numse Mwenyesat Nunazanazo contribute, and contribute to Wazimu. Uh, he has the most goal involvements for 90 minutes over the last eight game weeks, but also he hasn't been setting all of the, all the games and he's been getting subbed a lot. Nanyame Koki Mwingilia. Um, Diaby. But he has more than Haaland, Salah, and Son in that period. So the reason why it's a big differential is that he has a home fixture against Sheffield United. Sheffield United have a bunch of issues, um, including uh, being the team with who have considered the most shots in the box. They have the most shots, conced big chances considered, and most chances considered from wide areas. So this is somewhere where I believe the great Leon Bailey will eat. And he am a one form. Game Zao, Game Zao, Ilya Man City na Arsenal, he came back with assists. Assist and a goal, I think. Um, so yeah, he's 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 a player that is looking to to really really capitalize on on his chances. So definitely, Leon Bailey is a potential FPL differential to think of this week. The, um, then obviously here you can see his goal involvements from game week nineteen to seventeen. He's at one point five five per ninety, which is again as we said more than Haaland, um, Salah, and Son, and even Kudus. And his hit, cha um, his hit map, this is his chances conceded. The chances conceded, that, oh, sorry, the hit map are the, are the are his hit map niake, but the chances conceded are from the opponents. So you can see this is somewhere where he can really thrive. Player up next is none other than the brazilian striker richarlison according to samiro the best brazilian striker in the premier league 
Um, the man has 14 appearances this season, but he's only come into his own over the last few weeks. I'm a Funga Bao, I think, last game, and then the last game before that, he scored two goals. Someone who's looking like he's on form. He has a game against Everton. His former employers, you know he will be up for that game. Um, he's had 25 shots in the box. So, another player that is worth considering this week, especially because Man City players are Atakua. So, you'll be looking at uh, potential short-term replacements for people like Foden and Doku and players like that. So, yeah, Richarlison is another player that you should consider as an FPL differential this week. And then, the last person on our list is none other than Migi Almiron. Migi Almiron has a fixture uh, coming up against a, 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 who are Newcastle playing? Who are Newcastle playing? Luton. They're playing Luton away. A team that just has weaknesses everywhere. Similar to Sheffield, Wakotuna Mashida. Conceding chances from the left a lot. Set pieces are just their like set pieces is just their Achilles heel. Big chances. They're conceding big chances and shots in the box as well. Only second to Sheffield United. So another team that is will is just leaking goals. And Almiron is bound to eat in this game. If you guys have seen the last few games, they've people have eaten. People have eaten. Man City, Arsenal, the four three game. Uh, Man City, the two nil. I think they won two nil or three nil. Um, can't remember. But yeah, Almiron is someone to consider for. Um, as an FPL differential for game week 18. Moving straight to suspensions. So these are the players that have been suspended. Apo game week 18. Wala Samekula red card. Jimenez, Dalo, uh, Benmin, Abubaka Kamara, Wote, Walikwa sent off game week 17. Dalo na two game moja. Uh, Jimenez is ruled out until game week 20. Likwa red straight. Kamara and me... Um, uh, until uh, game week 21. So they'll be out until game week 21. Those are the four players that are suspended because of picking up red cards. And then uh, players with the most yellow cards, um, seven bookings, Edson Alvarez, Emerson, Nicholas Jackson, and João Palinha. Players on six bookings, Anthony Gordon, Bubaka Kamara, Lamu Mario Lemina, Christian Nogard, and Rodri. Then we're looking at players on your corner, five bookings, including um, Marvelous Nakamba, Frank Onyeka, Destiny Udogi, Marvelous Nakamba, I think his is um, suspension hasn't been determined yet, so that we'll know that uh, soon enough. And then Frank Onyeka and Udogi got their fifth yellow card, so they're both suspended for game week 18. Then the rest of the players are players who've already received five cards and have already been suspended, which means the next suspension is at 10. That's Brathwaite, Lucadinha, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Idris Age, Douglas Luiz, Charlie Taylor, Trippier. Kukurea, Dawson, Gomez, Grealish, Gimarej, uh, Hiki, McAllister, Norwood, Paqueta, Semedo. And then the players on four bookings are the ones you need to watch out for, especially if you're bringing them in for the long term. If it's a one-week rental, it's okay. They're available for this week, but if they get a yellow card this week, we'll go out next week. Ahmed Zohic, Aitnur, Ahmed Zohic, I'm going to top of this list for a very long time. Uh, Joaquim Anderson is, I think, a newcomer. Jordan Ayu, Omar Bogi, Omar Bogl, sorry. Um, Matikash, Vladimir Sufal, Abdullahi Dukure, Luis Dunk, Duran, 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 Song, Enzo Fernandez, uh, Godos, I don't even know who Godos plays for, I won't even lie, Billy Gilmore, Gustavo Am, he he Hema, Hama, um, Kai Havertz, He Chang Hwan, Joe Linton. I think Havertz and Huang are the key uh, players there who, and Dukure, of course, players who actually, Dukure especially, players who are very. Um, FPL and uh, might get booking. So those are people to watch out for. And then Isa Kabore, Lascelles, Tom Lockyer, Sean Longstaff, Mangala, John McGinn is another one. FPL asset, Kaoru Mitoma, Nunez, Pap Matsa, Osula, Cole Palmer, who many of us have, including us, Anthony Robinson, Romero, Sangares, and Nessie Sterling, Ward, and Ashley Young. All players on four bookings. So watch out if you're going to bring in any of those players into your team. Captain Picks. These are the Captain Picks for Game Week 18. Game Week 18. Starting up with none other than Oli Watkins, who was a home fixture against Sheffield United. Possibly going to be our captain for the week. Um, not too sure, but we'll 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 get to that. Uh, Aston Villa. XG stats also may drop Kiasi, but that was expected playing Man City and Arsenal. I think this was Tender Ju Kiasi, but. They have still scored the most goals in the league and they are still third in XG in the league. So they're creating a lot of chances. Again, they're playing a Sheffield United team that is worst in shots in the box, worst in big chances created, 
second worst in set pieces and worst in most chances created from wide area considered from wide area so it's just a team that concedes chances they've been a bit better um, ever since they fired their old manager and got in chris wilder but these are still stats that we see the team i expect them to be a bit more solid obviously because of chris wilder he's a bit more pragmatic at a game liverpool they they didn't concede they were, they were solid and they were sitting back so um expecting to be a bit more solid but watkins should get still get a lot of chances and then next up in terms of our captain picks is uh none other than hyun min song the man is playing everton um everton have looked really good ever since they got that 10 point points deduction um sayame i'm sure to the right Jew richarlison is back so richarlison is playing through the middle and uh, again son is on penalties so that's always an added bonus so someone that we should consider for this week for captain obviously is son alafu pale salah salah the biggest thing about him is it's a tough fixture because he's playing the best defense in the league in arsenal but if there's anyone who has a good record against arsenal is none other than mo salah because if you look here he has started um 11 home and away games against arsenal he has scored eight goals and had two assists so all in all he has a 91 percent strike rate anytime he plays arsenal so that is someone that is worth um captaining this week then our next player is almiron almiron actually our next two players are newcastle players almiron and wilson both of them are playing luton so that is why we have them in our top uh captain picks i'll start with amiron but the stats are the same because they, they're both facing the same team right so they're facing a team again that is similar to sheffield team in a concede shots mob sana kwa box again big chances the only difference up and um luton actually lead the league in most shots considered in the box i think you know the only thing they're leading sheffield in um so yeah almiron is someone who can eat um luton's left side is up where everything just happens we saw a few weeks ago saka that's where everything was going jack grealish um who else kyle walker like just eating to the right side so definitely someone worth captaining and obviously our top pick is callum wilson um again the same things that i have said about almiron apply to him playing a team that faced, concedes many chances but also concedes many shots in the box and wilson is there to eat the only thing i'll add for wilson knee he's proving to be very good away from home so nim same when he um he can actually he, he there's a chance there's a chance he'll, he'll be on the score sheet somewhere the only thing for him is if he suck his feet then it will eat into his minutes but at least we know attack rudy wilson will probably start this game he had a good game against chelsea midweek when they were knocked out carabao cup but still a player worth considering Clean sheet odds. Even if we look at clean sheet odds, team in the highest odds of clean sheet this week is Aston Villa. One that is Sheffield United, 55% chance of a clean sheet. Alafu one of our Fulham at 42%. Koimia versus Burnley. Newcastle on a game versus Luton. They're next at 40% away. Alafu Chelsea against Wolves at 6%. But that is more than likely not going to happen uh, <laughs> because there's a man called Huang. Alafu Brighton against Crystal Palace as well. I think here Brighton is more because Palace just have just had just injuries, just a lot of injuries. But the only thing with Brighton is they also concede many goals. So I think the Arsenal game was the first game in like 16 games where both teams didn't score. Any game they're in, both teams have to score. So that was the first time they had didn't they haven't scored in a while. And that's the first time though in a game that Team Moja Pekende Mefunga. Team games are what they were teams what is in a funga. So um those are the highest odds a clean sheet a la foot kangalia team is going to chance to kufunga more than two goals aston villa obviously top again when it's a sheffield vile tumesema mashida ni mo bapo so more than likely captain newton has to talk about your game a la fu spurs next na everton um team in a in a pena kwa tak sana especially like your home and they're playing on the front foot sana we're gonna press high so your game ito kwa na mabao um a la foot kona newcastle against luton I think the second probably third one of three teams with very leaky defenses and all of them are the promoted teams so yeah Newcastle bucks to eat in this game Ah ya na kwa hayo game week 17 this is how our team this is how our teams look like our team looks like our team looks like <laughs> uh, Dubravka Luton away uh, no brainer apo defense kona Saliba Pedro Poro na Sha 
one thing that to majority to fight this week need to conda to make sub but we're really fighting making a sub because we want to have two free transfers going into next week um but at the same time if these two are not fit itakuwa ngumu una cheki one guy will not play but it's fine atakama shata cheza we can sacrifice that we can still get that zero and have two free transfers next week i feel like those two free transfers will be very important this christmas period so if you can get it as early as possible let's do it now Gordon has a chance of playing so we'll leave him in Son Palmer um Salah and Saka and then Solanke um up front and Watkins as well who's playing Sheffield United our bench obviously Man City players are not around so they are blanking Mudogi is suspended Kelly has been benched because Alisson is back so this is more or less apa kuna our bench is dead so if anything happens to our starters nivo then for captain we are going with Oli Watkins who is playing Sheffield United again as we said the team that is just conceding chances from everywhere so i think for us that's a no brainer and if Watkins comes through we we it it will offset that loss in the back because we don't want to make the, we don't want to make a transfer that i make sense and we want to have to those two free transfers so yeah we leave Watkins inside and yeah that is our team for game week 18 Uh, so now uh, lastly we want to go through the fixtures as we tell you who the FPL assets are in every fixture starting with uh, Crystal Palace versus Brighton up on Bele, I think Evan Ferguson for Brighton uh, Palace injuries if Eze was around maybe but uh, just uh, not a team I want do want to invest in yet even Brighton uh, yeah Ferguson and that's about it Ala for Aston Villa versus Sheffield Everton from Aston Villa is a go cash is a go uh, Leon Bailey is a go and probably a captain potential watkins is a go potential captain west ham versus man united apart on two kudus na bowen bowen another player who i think um loki can have a very good game week against united <coughs> um whereas for united uh still a shaky team not decided maybe mctominay and that's it fulham versus Burnley, um iwobi um maybe william um himenez is out got a red card so limits our options Luton versus Newcastle everyone from Newcastle is a go Trippier is a go Dubravka is a go um Gordon Almiron Wilson and everyone anyone there you can captain uh Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth obviously Solanke good pick um, um if you really really trying to to chase uh, waterfalls i would say Semenyo Nottingham Forest have just changed their manager who's even yet to first plays first game that is uh, Nuno Espirito Santo so we don't even know what his lineup is going to be so not touching them yet Spurs versus Everton um in terms of Everton assets Dukure for sure is a go and then Spurs Son Richarlison Kulusevski who is looking very good going forward and obviously Pedro Porro then Liverpool versus Arsenal here I'm not expecting clean sheet from either team so any defenders you choose are the ones who have potential to get things going forward so that that put trent it puts trent in that category and then um in terms of their midfield so bozlai who is an uh, just create a lot of chances probably one of the highest chance creators in the league then salah as well um and yeah that's about it for liverpool then for arsenal obviously saka on the right um and i'd say jesus through the middle and yeah that's it as well <laughs> and maybe odegaard maybe maybe but i'd go for those three from either team then wolves versus chelsea the man who is a legend at scoring at home huang hee chan from wolves that is that is my boy anytime anytime any day he has, he's a go and then for chelsea Cole palmer is another one um that you worth considering um raheem sterling as well likes playing plays well against wolves for some reason um and who else and yeah i think that's about it um ngunku is back but still too early want to see him playing a bit more and then we can judge him after that and that is our show for fpl game week 18 this is the week that box to box was nominated wasi we are now known in africa top content creator in africa we have been nominated we have two more days of voting wasi please vote please just go there i'll put the link in the description go and vote for us we have to win this and do kenya proud because we are the only kenyan uh, content creators representing you know on a global stage so we would really really love to bring this home um as always show is brought to you by uber eats community our whatsapp pay or live join parlay kuna group fpl community you just look for the fpl group and you're in 
And yeah, Kwahayo Machache, Game Week 18. All the best, boys and ladies. And ladies, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Actually, no, Merry Christmas, because I will find you just before Christmas again for Game Week 19. Peace.